Hey everybody, this quick video was meant to be part of a longer video but it didn't make the cut. And it's for all of you Voice Live 3 users that have been frustrated with having to hold down the layer button for two seconds to access the looper screen. That can be annoying, but it's not the real reason that I remapped my step button to be the looper, <laughs> access the looper on the Voice Live 3. So here's the, here's the actual video. Now that we're getting to the undo button on the TC Helicon looper, there's one thing I want to point out, and this can get you in a gig if you're not aware of it, is by needing to hold down the looper to get back to your main screen, if for ac by accident you don't hold it down long enough, it actually undoes what you just did. And here's the kicker. If you haven't done any overdubs, your loop is entirely gone. So here's an example. Three, four. I'm going to set that to play. That's all I want for my loop. Um, no worries. Maybe I'll play over it. But now I think... I'm going to go back to my main screen, so I hold this down for two seconds. Oops, my foot came off. I didn't concentrate, I didn't hold it down long enough. It's started recording a loop, it's completely undone that one, and started re-recording a loop from the moment I hit that button. So, um, it's just something to be aware of, and it's why on my Voice Live 3 I actually have this step button mapped just to get in and out of the looper. It means I can't by accident make that mistake. Obviously if you do hold it down the layer level for two seconds it works fine but there is a chance that for some reason you you just bump it and it becomes undo instead. So I hope that hasn't happened to you at any of your gigs. Um, it can be really awkward or embarrassing when you've just gone to play something and suddenly, especially if you've been doing a long loop, suddenly it's gone, it's just completely deleted and you kind of started recording whatever you happen to be playing afterwards. But um, just so that you know, if you have a Switch 3 or a Switch 6, you can remap one or two of the buttons on there to be the direct access to the looper screen or to be your step button if you you know, remap your step button on the actual unit. So, I hope that's useful. Uh, hopefully it saves you from making that awkward mistake like I did a long time ago, and hence why I remap the step button to be the looper access.